Welcome to work for you today, Monday, the May 25th. The Lord has been mindful of us and he will bless us. Psalms 115, 12, New King James Version. God will take care of you. How much time do you spend worrying about things that usually never happen? Be honest. And it has always improved as a result of your worrying about it. Of course not, Paul writes. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. That's Philippians 4, 6, and 9 NRV. He will encourage us by saying that when we do this, the peace of God will fill our hearts and minds. Philippians 4, 7. In instance, you begin to worry or feel uh, feel about totally trusting him and either show you that what to do or show you that he will take care of it himself. Prayer is powerful against worry. When you're feeling pressure, it's always best to pray about it instead of fretting and uh, talking about it. Will this be easy to do? No. No, if you worry all your life, then worry has become a habit. Because, uh, but with a commitment, a perseverance, and God's help, you can conquer worry. Here are two keys in doing it. Instead of trying to get rid of your negative thoughts, which only keeps your focus on them, fill your mind with positive thoughts, scripture ones. See Philippians 4.8. Take action quickly. As soon as you begin to worry, say, no, I'm going to worry about, I'm not going to, uh, worry about this because it does no good. You may wonder about who is going to take care of the problem. God, his word says, the Lord has been mindful of us and he will bless us. So hand it over to the Lord and he'll take care of it. And uh, stop worrying because it's, uh, it's like a miracle round. It keeps going round and round. It never gets anywhere. So, um, that's the word for your day. God will take care of you. Amen.